presidente, vamos a escuchar los testimonios de nuestros representantes de Washington DC acerca de nuestra reforma migratoria posible. Y quiero darle el escenario a nuestra amiga, compañera, our friend Michelle Hawkes Ortiz, who has been a great supporter of this cause and has really been um, amazing in, in being part of not only this, but also our forum on the 18th on immigration reform. Muchísimas gracias, Michelle Hawkes Ortiz. Hello, hello. What a great march. Alma did such a great job. She kept us lively and. ¿Qué queremos? ¡Fondo! ¡Qué bueno! Senator Udall, unfortunately, was not able to make it, but he wanted a member of his staff to be here and just read a short statement. This is from the Senator. Thank you for inviting me to attend the third annual International Workers' Day celebration. I want to begin by thanking Somos Un Pueblo Unido for organizing this gathering, as well as the other co-organizers, including the United Workers' Center of New Mexico and Northern New Mexico Central Labor Council. More importantly, I want to recognize everyone for being here this evening as a show of support for our workers, who are truly the backbone of this nation. This is a unique time in our country's history, and as many of you know, I stand behind President Obama in making comprehensive immigration reform a national priority. I was encouraged last month by the bipartisan framework unveiled in the Senate to modernize our broken immigration system. This proposal includes important worker protection provisions, and I'm working with my colleagues on both sides of the aisle to give this issue the attention it deserves and push for long overdue reform. Many of the people here this evening are here because you are champions for working families. You are champions for social justice. Your efforts have brought the minimum wage to Santa Fe long before any cities in the country were even there. Your efforts brought Americans the eight-hour workday and unemployment insurance. You helped pass Social Security and Medicare and historic health care reform. Millions of workers depend on the protections that you have fought for. And because of you, the American worker has a voice. Because of you, working families have a place at the table. These historic achievements did not just happen. And that place at the table is not guaranteed. The road was paved with hard work and sacrifice, and the fight for fairness is ongoing, especially in tough economic times. I want to close by saying thank you for all that you do. We have to work together to invest in and protect our working families. Thank you for doing your part, and I look forward to continuing to fight by your side. Sincerely, United States Senator Tom Udall. Thank you, Michelle. Uh, my name is Andrew Black. I'm with uh, U.S. Senator Martin Heineck, and he sent me to read a statement to you all today. Here's a statement from Senator Heinrich. Thank you for this opportunity to share a few words in celebration of International Workers' Day. As the son of an immigrant, and growing up in a union family, I recognize the important role that organized labor has played in upholding the dignity of work and in fixing our broken immigration system. As we push toward immigration reform, I applaud my colleagues in the Senate for finding common ground and introducing a bipartisan bill that is a good start for debate. Accountable immigration reform must include a visa system that meets our country's needs in a, for our economy, a plan that ensures security along our borders, and a tough but fair path to earn citizenship for the estimated 11 million undocumented individuals in our country. Reform must also be fair to American workers and taxpayers, and Congress must ensure that any reforms to our visa programs do not displace U.S. workers, undercut U.S. wages, or exploit migrant workers. The Senate bill includes provisions that attempt to do all of this, and I look forward to the bill's debate and progress in our Congress. As we celebrate International Workers' Day today, 
I'm encouraged that the immigration reform bill makes great strides towards protecting labor rights, towards promoting fair wages, and towards ending employee exploitation, while also devising solutions to meet our nation's workforce needs and benefit our U.S. economy. Along these lines, the bill streamlines and modifies the visa system for visitor and immigrant workers in the U.S., and in some cases sets wages for those workers to ensure that they do not undercut U.S. workers and organized labor. In other cases, the bill requires employers to pay higher than the medium wage in an industry. Provisions like these paired with legalization and work authorization for undocumented immigrants should go a long way to reducing exploitation and supporting U.S. wages. A commitment to reform our country's immigration system is also a commitment to our students. As a lead proponent of the DREAM Act, I am pleased that the bill includes a special pathway for our students. Dreamers contribute so much to our country. Many want to be doctors, scientists, engineers, and entrepreneurs, while others want to serve and defend our country in uniform. By including the DREAM Act provisions in this bill, this bill will allow thousands of students across the country to gain more education and training, which translates into better and higher paying jobs. All of these wages will circulate through our economy, spurring economic growth and new job creation. It's time to make the DREAM Act a reality. And and I will work with my colleagues to ensure that this legislation works for our country and for our families here in New Mexico. With bipartisan support building in both houses of Congress and a president who is eager to solve the immigration issues and the problems in our country, there is no reason that we should not be able to get this done. Este es el año. With this in mind, I will push to ensure that we achieve immigration reform that works for New Mexico. Again, thank you for lending your voices to this important cause and for giving us an opportunity to share a few words this evening. Sincerely, Martin Heinrich, United States Senator. Thank you. Thank you to our representatives and um, thank you uh, to you all for being here. Uh, next, we have uh, Mayor David Coons. Thank you. You know, I, I'm so glad to be here on May Day. I saw you guys when I was driving down St. Mike's. We don't see picket signs enough in Santa Fe. You know, so this is a great day for me to see everybody, to see the immigrant workers and organized labor coming together. You're going to change Santa Fe. You have changed Santa Fe. I know why we have a living wage law in Santa Fe. It's because of all of you that are here and what you've done for working people in Santa Fe. Both immigrant workers, organized labor, makes me feel good to see all of you working together. And let's see some more picket signs in Santa Fe. I like that. Thanks. Thanks, Salima. Thank you, Mayor. And now we're going to start the fiesta. Tenemos aquí Joy West. And also we have the Union Town Criers. So let's enjoy the party and let's sing and dance. Okay, this one I just learned this morning because John Henry requested that uh, oftentimes I've been singing some of these events and we play these old Union songs that are, we all love but I uh, wanted to pull up something a little more recent. Uh, so you may know this one, it's not necessarily Union but it's about the working. Out of bed and stumbled to the kitchen Pulled myself a cup of ambition Yawning in the kitchen and trying to come back to life Jump in the shower and blood starts pumping Now on the street the traffic starts jumping With folks like me on the job at 9 to 5 Working 9 to 5 What a way to make a living Barely getting by It's all taking and no giving Just use your mind Credit is enough to drive you crazy if you let it. 95. You're 
show the same devotion Take that eye To feel the big commotion Like to move ahead With the boss and the let me Where sometimes That man 